everyone, my name is Maddie. I'm a 22 year old competitive boulderer from Canada, currently living near Frankfurt. Today, we are gonna go through everything I eat in a day. Every Tuesday begins with pancakes, so we're gonna start with that. It's all about food. So I weigh just the yogurt out. Unless I'm using oats, then I'll weigh the oats as well. So we're using 0% fat Greek yogurt, plain. And how do we combat the nastiness of that, Maddie? We're, I'm gonna get to that, okay? <laughs> I, so I hate it when this happens. This is the one thing about European yogurt containers. In Canada, they have like lids that clip on. These ones sometimes just, like how am I supposed to- Maddie, you're out? a guest in this continent. How can you insult them like this? So in Canada, we do like serving sizes. Um, so each serving size of plain Greek yogurt is 175 grams. So that's what I've been doing basically forever. 175. Yeah? Yeah. Aha. Then we're gonna add some Zustoff. This is saccharin, which is a sugar replacement. So it's calorie free, but it tastes just like normal sugar. I've done so much digging online. I actually haven't found anything that unhealthy about it. So I use it like seven times a day. Next, we're gonna add some water. Don't get all the dishes. I'm gonna add some blue spirulina. This is what's been making my yogurt blue recently. Next is some hemp hearts, <coughs> adding some vitamins and nutrients. It's also got a bit of protein, but that doesn't really matter with all the Greek yogurt. And then this is where I kind of deviate sometimes. Today, I think I'm gonna do some oats. So I like to put 50 calories worth of oats in here. I love this brand, my misli. If you're listening, my misli, <laughs> this is a good opportunity. This Don't die. Time. Don't die? They're going out of business, aren't they? They're not. Oh. Okay, so this is just berry beer here. Just some miscellaneous oats. It's got some uh, fruits in it too. So I'm gonna put 15 grams of granola in here. And then, just for fun, I'm gonna put some freeze-dried strawberries in. I'm also gonna bring these cookies that I made last night because I didn't get to eat them last night. And I need a second pre because I have two climbing sessions and then hangboarding. So I'm gonna take my like shaker, I'm just gonna make like a protein drink. I'll put like a full scoop of this in here. And I won't do a full scoop, but I'll do a little bit of caffeine powder. This I brought from Canada, so I didn't get this here. So there's just like almost half a scoop. It also makes it taste really good. And then of course some Zustoff. I Zeus the yogurt, right? Here's some Zeus stuff. And then a little bit of oat milk and some water. It's a lot of water. So I intermittent fast every day until basically when I start training. So I'll do like 10 to six every day is my eating window. And uh, I find it has a lot of, uh, it helps you like maintain weight and lose weight depending on how much you eat. And I find it's, it's got a lot of other health benefits to it. So I'm, I'm a subscriber of intermittent fasting. It's a little bit complicated sometimes with training because uh, sometimes my training days go late and I have to just extend the window. But otherwise it's a pretty good system. Maybe this is a little ghetto. Mmm.
bad one. Mid workout fueling. This is my pre for second session, so I might need to supplement now, but it's delicious. Sometimes you can't resist a sugar ball person. It's true. after the second session so i just had a pretzel which is not good because you need carbs and protein after um so i raced home and i had a salad from the salad bar so my I think this wasn't a perfect day i always like to have my post immediately after the session so my tip of the day is don't be like me and have your post workout or post climb uh, meal of protein and carbs immediately after you finish exercising. But nonetheless, I finished my day off a little bit past six, which is fine. I kind of rounded up the nutrients uh, that I didn't get throughout the day. So I put some vegetables in here and uh, some protein and uh, it's kind of like a post slash like a, just a dinner. I have this salad bar multiple times a week. Yeah, that's about it. I also had some watermelon because I bought some watermelon and it's my favorite fruit. And once I start eating watermelon, I can't stop. So I go through like one of these tubs a day. So that is our day of eating. And yeah, 